Hi friends, this is Gautam Raj. In this video tutorial, I will explain the concept of how to configure EAGRP routing protocol using IP version 6 address. Before going to configure this topology, first of all we have to know what is mean by EAGRP. So the expansion of EAGRP is Enhanced Integer Gateway Routing Protocol. For what purpose we can use this routing protocol means when compared to the other routing protocol RIP and OSPF, the EAGRP is less convergence time. That means in an EAGRP routing protocol, if the shortest path can be failed means within a fraction of seconds it will find out the next shortest path. It is an Cisco proprietary protocol. Let's we can see in this topology we have four departments CAC department, IT department, EC department and Triple department. So here we can see the IP version 6 address 2001 colon 41 colon 41 colon x colon colon slash 64. Slash 64 indicates how many bits is net ID and how many bits is host ID. So here first 64 bit is a net ID and last 64 bit is an host ID. So the slash x, x indicates the net ID. For example in CAC department the net ID is 1. In IT department net ID is 2. In EC department net ID is 3. And triple department the net ID is 4. In wide area network the net ID is 5, 6, 7 and 8. Okay, now we can configure the IP version 6 address into CAC department. First of all, we have to go to the router. Yeah, in router, we can see in global mode, we can give IP version 6 space unicast hyphen routing. So, using this command only, we can enable the IP version 6 because IP version 4 is an inbuilt, but IP version 6 is not an inbuilt. So, if you are enabling this common IP version 6 space unicast hyphen routing means then only this router can forward the IP version 6 traffic. Otherwise it cannot forward the IP version 6 traffic. So first of all in global mode we can give IP version 6 space unicast hyphen routing. Okay. Now we can configure the local area network of CEC department. So first of all we have we can go to that particular interface. Interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. Okay. Here we can assign the IP version 6 address. IP version 6 space address. So the address is 2001 colon 1111 colon 1111 colon. So the net ID is 1 1 colon colon slash 64 space. EUI iPhone 64. So the EUI iPhone 64 indicates the extended Uniq identifier. That means here I will give IP version 6 space address space 2001 colon 41 colon 41 colon 1 colon colon sac 64. So the net ID can be given, but in host ID I will not mention anything. But if I am giving EUI iPhone 64 means it automatically assign the host ID as an MAC address of that port fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. So let's we can see press enter. No shutdown to enable this interface. Okay. Do show IP v do show IPv6 interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. Yeah. Here we can see 2001 colon 41 colon 41 colon 1. So I will not given any host ID in that configuration. Just I will give that IP version 6 space address space 2001 colon 111 colon 111 colon 1 is a net ID. Next I will give colon colon slash 64 space EUI iPhone 64. In host portion, I will not given any ID for host ID. Instead of that, I will given EUI iPhone 64. So the EUI is an extended Uniq identifier. That means the 48 bit MAC address plus F F F E 16 bit. Totally the 64 bit can be assigned to the host ID. Here we can see 2001 colon 
four one colon four one colon one. Next we can see the last sixty four bits. First ID is here. F F F F E can be inserted into that host ID. So first 24 bit of MAC address, then it will insert the F F F E 16 bit, and next 24 bits of the MAC address. So the MAC address of show IP show interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. So the MAC address of fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 is 0 0 6 0 colon 2 f 7 1 colon d 2 0 1 so here we can see the mac address the first seventh bit is 0 means we can take an as 1 if it is 1 means we can take an as 0 here we can see 0 0 6 0 so each character indicates hexadecimal that means 0 means 0 0 0 0 next 0 means 0 0 0 0 so here we can see the first 4 bit is 0 and the first 8 bit is 0 so the 7th bit is also 0 so it's if it is 0 means we can take an as 1 if we are putting 1 means it will be assigned as an 2 for example first 0 0 0 0 0 second character also 0 0 0 0 0 third character is in 6 so 8 4 2 1 so 0 1 1 0 so like that so each character is an hexadecimal so the first seventh bit is zero means we can take an as one so the first seventh bit is zero 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 so the seventh bit is zero so we can take an as one if we are putting one means the corresponding value is two so two six zero call dot 